Hello friends, what is up and welcome back to the Loosely Bound YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a review and synopsis of If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. If I Was Your Girl is a young adult romance coming of age tale that deals with a trans woman who's 18 years old named Amanda Hardy. She's just moved to a new high school because at her previous high school she had a traumatic incident in a restroom where after someone discovering that she was a trans woman uh, beat her up really really badly so she felt forced to move schools where no one knew that she was trans so she could get a fresh start and just move on with her life. So Amanda moves in with her her father who she has had a rocky relationship with ever since coming out as trans and she starts this new school where she plans on just laying low and not telling anyone about her past or her history and just making it through her final year until she can move to New York and go to college where people might actually accept her for who she is but once Amanda begins to form these relationships at her new school she's developed a really close-knit relationship with a group of girls and a romantic relationship with a boy that's in her high school and she wants to begin to tell them a little bit more about who she is and she starts feeling like she can be open with these people but it's such a rocky and tumultuous terrain because she's not really sure if people will be accepting of who she is and what she's gone through. So we follow Amanda's journey as she's developing these relationships, repairing the relationship with her dad and then we also are going back in time to three years ago and six years ago and ten years ago to see how Amanda's journey started and all of the different obstacles that she's faced so far in her life. So just on the surface level, If I Was Your Girl is a really, really good coming of age story. And I would like to read this story from anyone's perspective. But what really set this one apart is our main character is a trans woman. This is actually the first story that I've ever read that had a trans person as the main character. And I feel like it's so important to expand our horizons about who the main characters of stories are. I know when I was reading young adult books in high school, the majority of the main characters were white straight characters and I know recently we've become more inclusive and branched out into having more people of color as the main characters and even gay lesbian and bisexual main characters but I have yet until I found this book to have read anything with a trans person as the main character so I loved hearing that perspective and even though this was a fiction novel it was based in a lot of truth so i loved hearing that perspective and i feel like it just really opened my mind um, even though i feel like i am a very open-minded person i just loved hearing about someone's life that is so different from my own and just seeing how how different the world is for everyone. Another amazing thing about If I Was Your Girl is the author Meredith Russo is also a trans woman and she felt that it was super important to keep trans people as involved with the creation of the story as possible. So not only is this a story about a trans woman written by a trans woman but the beautiful model on the cover is also a trans model that is super gorgeous and I started following her on Instagram and she's appeared in Vogue and she's just absolutely stunning and I loved seeing that she just made sure that trans people were so involved uh, throughout this entire process I wouldn't know exactly how it feels because I am NOT a trans person but I can identify with knowing how a woman's character can be written by a man and how it's not always exactly how women would feel or act in certain scenarios because men don't know exactly how women feel. So I can understand to an extent that it's not the same authenticity that you would get if a trans character was written by a cisgendered or a not trans person. And Meredith Russo does go on to say at the end that there are certain parts of this book that she's um, stretched a little bit to fit the story better and to make it a little more readable for um, a wider audience. But I loved getting those personal notes where you could tell that the person writing the story has gone through some similar circumstances and it just felt so raw and so authentic that this book 
completely tugged on my heartstrings the whole time and it was just such such a good coming of age story I absolutely loved it on Goodreads I gave if I was your girl four out of five stars it didn't hit five stars for me just because at the end um, and I'm not gonna spoil it or anything but the end left me feeling a little unresolved with some characters but I would still absolutely recommend this book to anyone. I read it in about five days and I probably would have read it a lot faster than that but I was actually traveling um, so I was seriously every uh, five minutes that I had a little break I would pick it up and read a few pages because it was just that unput downable. If you guys want to pick up a copy of If I Was Your Girl for yourself just check out the link down below and I'll go ahead and post it there so you can easily find and order a copy. If you've read this already leave a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!